Welcome back mountains. After a week or so of not being able to see them because of the thick smoke, we can actually see them, especially the further ones back there. Thank you to the rain we had this weekend and cleared everything up. And as you remember from our last video, we got our footings poured and our ICF blocks delivered. So ICF stands for Insulated Concrete Forms and we purchased the ready form here's their website readyform.com um, these are pretty awesome to use and i got a few of them sitting over here so i can show you them so this is what the blocks will look like and the ready form what's special about the ready form blocks is they have this thick cylinder of foam inside as opposed to other uh, companies just have plastic strips that keep them together keep the two sides together this one's got a thick core of foam so uses way less concrete because of the large amounts of foam that are in here so if you were to build this wall up about three feet tall with these foam blocks and then you poured it with concrete and then you melted off all the foam it would be a waffle pattern because of the cores they were designed they were engineered to be solid and structural so we're not worried about that the only negative thing about these if you are putting sheetrock let's say in my basement putting sheetrock right to it i'm gonna have to glue it also i have the boards piled up over here that i need to rip down into one and a half inch strips to get it to lock into these blocking you with my shade to get into these grooves so there will be some material there to screw to um, later on so once we're putting in every single row that's what we will have to be doing um, so yeah we are very excited to start getting these uh, blocks down and uh, get our foundation walls poured another beautiful day here to get some work done so let me fill you in a little bit and we'll get right to it so we have laid out where our icf blocks go and once again icf blocks are insulated concrete forms so what happens is the concrete pours into these spaces and you can see that they are connected one to another so it'll be all filled with concrete so this morning the neighbor helped me out and we went ahead and snapped some chalk lines squared everything up so we know we will have straight walls and with this first layer, the lower one, we like to use this great stuff, uh, Pro Series Construction Adhesive, to run a bead along the bottom so we can glue the foam down to the concrete. So when you are pouring the concrete inside the foam, it won't lift up off or won't shift or won't move on us. So I think we got everything set up here and prepped. So I'm going to set you guys up here and we will get ready to get some work done so here we go
Well, it's been a few days since I've done any recording, so I figured I would show you guys, get my videos kind of cut up to speed, so we all know where we are at. Um, get you guys turned around here. So, we got our three foot frost wall for our daylight walkout. We got our back wall there with the windows framed out. Um, all the walls, this wall here below me, this one and the next few are all, we've gotten plum, got them leveled off. The only one that still needs to be plumbed is this back wall. Um, and since I'm here by myself right now, I won't be able to do that, but I will continue on working on the garage. I need, I um, got it laid out to about here. I got to just go the rest of the way and start gluing them down getting them in place. So I will set up a camera and have you guys uh, tag along with me. So let's get to work. Another early morning for us here today. You can see just starting to get daylight out. And today we have a big day. You can see behind me, pump truck is here. Getting ready to pour some concrete into our form. So very exciting today, but I would be lying to you if I were to say that I'm not worried or a little stressed because you never know what's gonna happen with foam. Um, concrete comes down with some force, so if something breaks out, gives up, that might call it a day and we'd be done. So hopefully everything goes well. Waiting for the concrete to show up and some helpers and we will get after it. Yeah, though I've realized And I'm dying to tell you